I'd like to introduce our College Decision Day alumni speaker, Mark Dinos from the class of 1995. After graduating from MPA, Mark attended Benedictine University. He went on to get his law degree at John Marshall University. His specialty is with workman's comp claims. Currently, Mark has been employed with the Klauke Law Group. Mark has been a lawyer for well over 17 years now. It is with my pleasure I get to introduce to you the class of 2020, an alum from the class of 1995, Mark Dinos. To the pending graduates of the MPA class of 2020, my name is Mark Dinos and I am a graduate of the class of 1995. I am happy to talk to you at what would have been your College Decision Day assembly. Here you are, just about five weeks away from a milestone that you have worked nearly your entire life to achieve, your high school graduation. As of today, you've reached another milestone by selecting the college you will attend as you navigate the next stages of your education. Congratulations to each of you. You should be proud of what you've achieved. When I was originally asked to speak on this College Decision Day, I was given three simple directives. One, share an experience or two that I had when I attended MPA. Two, offer a few words of advice. And three, keep it short. While I can't promise to keep it short, I can offer you a story and some thoughts. I could share stories about senior pranks, the antics that some of us displayed on a lot of our class trips, or the time our baseball team got into a little fight with one of our rivals and the colorful language used by our coach to address his players. If I did though, I don't think I'd be invited back again. Instead, I will tell you about how MPA prepared me for seven more years of education after I left those hallowed grounds. My freshman year at MPA, I took chemistry with Mr. Linnerud. It was a steep learning curve from what I had experienced in middle school science class and required a lot of work. In between trying to cash in mole bucks for silver plated Coke bottles, learning about covalent bonds and tons of lab work, I managed to do well in the class. Fast forward more than five years later to the summer between sophomore and junior year of college. I would take a chemistry class, and even though I hadn't picked up a chemistry book in that entire time, I managed to remember everything from Mr. Linderwood's class. There were no topics in the college level class that I hadn't learned and retained from my freshman year of high school. I actually walked into the final exam needing to get only seven out of 150 multiple choice questions right to get an A in the course. A couple years later when I entered law school, Critical thinking, issue recognition, thought development, and advocacy were the most important concepts that permeated all areas of my study of law. Those concepts were cornerstones at MPA and helped me adapt immediately. MPA has prepared students for nearly a century and a half for life after high school. This will become evident to you when you start college and already know how to manage your coursework, you will be amazed to see how far ahead you will be compared to some of your new classmates. As for offering advice, I'm a little bit at a loss because the world today is drastically different than the one we knew just 60 days ago. Our priorities, responsibilities, perspectives, and the way we view the world have changed in 60 days. Our definition of the words essential and important have forever been altered. The cashier at the convenience store making a little more than minimum wage is more essential than the professional athlete earning $30 million a year. Cleaning supplies and hand sanitizer are more important than the next billion dollar blockbuster movie from Hollywood. The thoughts offered by infectious disease experts are more essential than anything even the biggest A-list celebrity can tweet. MPA has a very proud tradition and its alumni include doctors, 
CEOs, CFOs, COOs, entrepreneurs, scientists, educators, artists, attorneys, restaurateurs, philanthropists, business leaders, and many, many more. Those alumni made their mark in a world that existed before the term social distancing became part of the lexicon. NPA works to create independent thinkers and global leaders. That's the tagline. The class of 2020 is now the first to be challenged to be those independent thinkers and global leaders in a world where quarantines exist and pandemics are real events, not hypothetical textbook discussions. Your goals, your hopes, your dreams don't need to change. Your focus doesn't need to be altered. Maybe you can step away from any tunnel vision you may have and look at things from a broader perspective. The lessons of the past 60 days have placed a different lens on the landscape that is before you. Some parts of the view of the world have become blurry, while other parts are more crystal clear than at any point in history. You are going to be part of a long history of MPA graduates who have left their mark on their communities. We look forward to seeing what your legacies will be. Congratulations to you all for your choices on College Decision Day. Good luck as you approach the finish line of your high school careers and good luck on all that you do in the future.